Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close-up look and test the Rothering 600 ballpoint pen. So let's just take a look around the outside of the box. So in this box is a Rothering 600 ballpoint pen and this one is in green. It's also available in red, silver, blue and black. Just taking a look at the details that's on the box packaging. And now let's go ahead and open up the box by sliding the sleeve off from it and giving you a look at the contents of this Rothering 600 ballpoint pens box packaging. So giving you a look as it is the ballpoint pen in green and let's go ahead and slide the pen out from its box packaging and of course just checking through to make sure nothing else is left behind and we can put it back together and just setting the box on the right hand side of the tabletop and of course just laying out the pen and its paper in the middle of the frame so you can see the contents from which the box packaging was removed so let's first start off by taking a look at this paper booklet here And let's open it up or we'll unfold it so we can see the details that's contained in it. And give you a much closer in look. And on the reverse side, and now we can fold it back down and set it to the side. So, setting it on the left hand side of the tabletop. And now moving right along to the pen itself, so giving you a look at the Rothering 600 ballpoint pen in green. And to give you some sense of the size of the pen resting in my palm. And now taking a much closer in look at the details of this ballpoint pen with a full metal body. So as you can see, it has a dark shade of green with a satin finish. It does have a knurled grip as you can see right there just about. And just letting the light play along its surface so you can see the overall details, design and finish of this metal body pen with a hexagonal shaft or barrel and you can see the Rothring 600 branding in red 
printed on the flat part or flat side of the hexagonal barrel. And we can see the clip as well does have the Rothering 600 or Rothering branding stamped on its clip. And of course some further knurling towards the top end of the pen and of course the wrought ring at the top or the red ring and overall just taking a look at the other details top down of the pusher at the top and the overall finish and of course at the tip or front of the pen with a fixed post or point and of course looking directly down and into the tip or front of the pen so right there giving you an overall look and of course once again, that full metal body throughout with the clip, barrel, and front and back. And of course, always tricky to get the camcorder to focus on such a small and narrow object but so far we're doing quite all right here giving you a look at its overall design And now let's extend the tip. So just pushing down on the pusher at the back to give you a look at the medium size nib of the ballpoint pen. So right there. giving you a look at those details and of course try to achieve focus on that very small point with that medium nib course right there giving you a look at the action once again so you can hear that very fine metal mechanism which is made out of brass
Of course, let's see if we can open up the pen. So twisting open and separating the knurled or front part from the barrel or body to give you a look at the details. So right there, once again, the details of this Rothring 600 ballpoint pen in green. And just tipping out the spring. And sliding out the other or the ballpoint refill. So giving you a look at the supplied and installed Rothring ballpoint refill in black it does have a one millimeter size nib and the ISO 12757-2 details and of course the back part with the plastic cap and its overall design right there the top of the Rothering 600 ballpoint pen refill ink And just setting that refill down and just taking a look at the components or parts of the pen which we've taken apart. So right there, the spring, the front, as well as the barrel. So grip, spring and barrel of the Rothering 600 ballpoint pen. And of course, some closer in details at its overall finish and design. So you can see that that satin finish does have a slightly specked metallic. quality to it and now let's put the pen back together but just giving you a look at that mechanism once again you can see that there is still that spring tension to the pusher so let's put it back together. Just dropping the ballpoint refill in, putting the spring back on it, and of course, twisting the grip back onto the pen. And once again, giving you another look at the overall details. So 
of this World Ring 600 ballpoint pen. And now let's go ahead and test it out. So I do have a folded A4 sheet of paper here and let's write with it. So of course, let's get the ink to run, which appears to be fine. It's right there, giving you a look at the overall details of the pen so it does have a very lightweight feel to it and once again let's try writing again And just setting the pen down and giving you a close up look. At the overall details of that Rothering writing experience and output from this Rothering 600 ballpoint pens supplied black ink refill inside so that's the Rothering 600 ballpoint pen thanks for watching and happy writing